We are back home. Um, Y'all had to get my hair redone in New York because that humidity out there was actually crazy like it actually turned me all the way off like i'm good on new york for a good minute <laughs> and the next time i go out there i'll be in um braids or something but back home this vlog didn't go exactly how i had planned it was just so many like minor things that kind of like deterred us from doing like the activities we wanted and things like that and it's fine because at the end of the day, we went there to see Drake. And the concert was 10 out of 10, in my opinion. 10 out of 10. Like, yeah. Just just 10 out of 10. I loved um, how he opened the show. I loved the little motivational speeches he gave. Like, I felt like he was really, like, connecting with the audience. And he brought out so many people. He had um, Lil Yachty there. He had Central C, Sexy Red. Yeah, somebody else, Drewski. Um, and of course, 21. I feel like I'm missing somebody. But yeah, he had a lot of people in his um, DJ booth. And he did like this little segment. I'm not going to tell y'all too much. Go to the show if you want to if you want to see what I'm talking about. But he, um, it just felt like one big party to me. With like motivational speeches in between. Like, And it lasted from what? He came out like 9.30 to 11 30 so it was like exactly two hours um it was supposed to end at 11 but he ended up going over but yeah it was whew, it was jam packed like almost twenty thousand people y'all at the barclay center and that was my first time in the barclay center too and i really liked it i'm glad i got to cross that off my list but yeah that night was really 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 didn't get any pictures in my outfit <laughs> Oh, and that's what I had to tell y'all. Like, yeah, things didn't go to, go as planned in New York. Like, it was raining so bad. It was raining from the time we left North Carolina until, like, basically basically our whole time there. It stopped raining just in time for the concert. So that can just put in perspective how those days off <laughs> went. Um, but still glad I got to get away from North Carolina for a little bit. But I'm going to just insert what I have in some kind of form and fashion, and then we gonna come back. So, enjoy. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Chef Lee, Boo, and Mon Beck. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D. those are all the clips i ended up getting sorry only wore one thing mama sushi was so freaking good mind you we've been trying to go back to mama sushi when did we go when did we have that big trip since i want to say uh, early 2021 yeah no yeah 2021 july because that's the last time um, we went to mama sushi we've been trying to go there since we even Move there, still never made it back. It's so good. Um, I forgot what the roll that I had was called, but it had it basically has Maduro's avocado, crunchy shrimp, 
bacon. Like, it's so freaking good. Like, the way they put the, their um, twist on it is Dominican sushi. The way they put their twist on it is so freaking good. The ambiance is amazing. They always have um, a DJ. And we went to the one on Broadway. Because that seems to be the best one to us so far. So, y'all should definitely check that out. We met up with some of um, Kai's work friends that she was working with. We were moved up there, and then one of our friends from here that was up there got margaritas and stuff. And yeah, they were A1. Didn't really feel like recording because like the weather was freaking ugly. We were, for the few hours that it stopped raining, we went to like the beauty spot store, like rushed to get all of our stuff together, and got on the train to the concert. The trains actually weren't that bad getting to the concert. Like it was a little packed, but like it wasn't like terrible. And then getting back, everyone's like flooding. Just in case you're going to the Barclay Center, everyone's like flooding. The train station um but once everyone like ventures off and finds like their route it's not that bad so i'm kind of glad we ended up taking the train and not like doing uber or something like that because it wasn't even that bad y'all all the way back home we kept getting delayed after delay after delay after delay like we were supposed to be back home at 5 57 we didn't get home till like 10 o'clock that's how delayed we were. But I was like, you know what? God got us home. That's all that matters. But it was just a lot going on in that little bitty trip. So, yeah. Don't make plans because God going to laugh at you every time. <laughs> but anyways, in present day, it is 722. It's Thursday, July 20th. Um, Something came. <sighs> Finally, I decided on a bed. Um, it says the Art of Living. I guess that's the brand. Y'all, why did I carry this up two flights of stairs? If that don't tell you I've been in the gym. I don't know what, cause ain't no way. Like, and I literally like, at one point I was like on the stairs and I'm like, I'm about to just give up. <laughs> I'm about to just give up, cause that shit is heavy. The box says it's like 70 pounds. So I'm about to put that together. I already have my comforter on my bed, but really about to destroy that. I was just watching the Kardashians and eating some ice cream. I always get the um, half-baked or cookie dough or strawberry cheesecake. That's my favorite. But yeah, um, I'm going to put that on pause and start putting this together because I want a bit of lay down and stuff and just chill on my bed, my new bed. So let's put this together. Actually got to sleep in this morning like literally just woke up about 30 minutes ago um it just felt so good sleeping this morning but i like woke up hard flat on my face and i was having some crazy ass dreams and i'm mad that i can't remember them but like yeah i slept good as fuck <laughs> i slept really good but um i wanted to get uh, oh yeah i finished the bed is so cute i'm actually glad i chose this one like i like the material and it almost looks like honestly like a real midnight blue but it's black but yeah i'm glad i went with this bed because i can if i do decide to like change up the thing in my room i can and i think the next um thing i'm going to work on is the nightstands and the mirrors and then i'll move to like my um surround sound speaker i want like a surround sound speaker bar and a thin thin small space dresser like not too big because i actually ended up having more space between my tv and the bed than i thought but i definitely wanted a queen bed this time because um in my other apartments I always went with like just a full it was always spacious enough to me but i'm like i'm gonna be 
25. I need to upgrade. So I'm doing like my grown woman room. So we're doing the queen bed. And well, the one in New York was a queen bed, but like, I didn't like that one. <laughs> I didn't like that one. So, um, yeah, do frame and stuff. This comforter is from, so these, these, this comforter and these pillows, this whole set is from Target, y'all. Oh my God. Like, I honestly feel like, yes, yeah, the bed and the mattress too, but like the cover is just like, it's so freaking comfortable, y'all. It is so freaking comfortable. They had a, um, they had a, bedding sale bedding sale and i got this comforter on it and i think it was originally like almost 80 90 dollars and i got it for 60 oh my god so freaking comfortable y'all definitely need to check out target's bedding yes it's saturday i am about to make i went grocery shopping yesterday didn't take y'all with me because i went like right after work i want to try the french toast oh i'm gonna fix y'all i want to try the french toast um Hawaiian rolls. So I'm about to make that. I got the Hawaiian rolls, some cinnamon, the eggs, milk. I'm using almond milk because I don't really mess with whole milk and 2%. And what else did I need to get? Vanilla extract. And yeah. Oh, brown sugar too, but I forgot that. But it should be fine. It don't have to be too sweet. Because, um, and I forgot the powdered sugar too. But we're still going to make it because that's what I got to make my breakfast this week. So I'll probably have to go back. And get the brown sugar and the powder. I went grocery grocery shopping because I really want to start cooking more at home. I got some more pans and stuff. So just slowly getting settled and stuff. Like I'm so happy finally. Um, but like if you're moving and stuff, do not be too hard on yourself because it's hard. <laughs> it's hard moving in. It's hard getting your stuff together. Getting settled into a new routine, a new place. So just take your time. <clears throat> but yeah um i kind of want to go see the barbie movie tonight or not even tonight but like after i eat and stuff like i want that to be like what i do for today so i'm thinking about going to do that um but i think when i looked at the movie times like they were selling out like, yeah, y'all trying to see barbie for real <laughs> but i think that's what i want to do today so after i eat i think i'm gonna look at some movie times and see which one i can go to because it's just me but yeah, I do want to see it. I actually do want to see that movie. But when I forgot to tell y'all, when we saw Insidious in New York, it was so good. Like, I saw mixed reviews about it, but I'm like, I don't understand why. Because, like, it had a storyline. It had us jumping, screaming. Um, it had a plot twist. And it told a different side of the story than what they've usually told. Like, at this time, they told, like, the son's part of the story. And as he was, like, uh, an adult, a young adult. So I really liked it, like. Probably like a 9 out of 10 movie. 9 out of 10. I think y'all should go see that if you haven't. But, yeah. Let's go make us some breakfast. Like, I don't know if I remember telling y'all the reason we got delayed on the way back home was because um, there ended up being like a tornado in Rocky Mountain. See, you've probably seen it like all over Twitter by now. The whole tornado um, going through Rocky Mountain seeing it like destroyed one of their um, major buildings, the Pfizer building. So yeah, we ended up finding out that and that's why we were stopped on the train for so long. But um, yesterday I woke up to um, email and they basically like gave us a credit to go towards our next trip. And it was basically like what we paid to get down here. Um, so that was lit. This is the little stuff I picked up at Target. Like I needed some tongs to turn my French toes. A new whisk. I say this teal green color. Um, just some kitchen scissors. And then I got like um this pre-season pre-packaged chicken that you have to bake. So I got like this little pan. I can't wait to make that. Um <clears throat> but for the French toast, you know you just throw those in a regular pan. And I don't know why I thought I had almond milk, but it's like toast free. I usually alternate between the two. I really wish I wouldn't have forgot the brown, um, not the brown sugar, but the, they actually came out, they actually look good without the brown sugar, but I really wish I wouldn't have forgot the, like, white powder, just to add, like, a little finish, but I'm about to eat these, and then, um, see what movie times they have for the Barbie movie, so good. I literally just devoured that. 
Oh, the French toast it was so good. Um, okay. I need to figure out what movie times are gonna be available. What time is it? It's eleven nineteen. I can honestly finish editing the video I was filming before this one and get that posted for today, or have it go up tomorrow on Sunday. It's been a while since I posted on a Sunday. Um, cause it's still kind of early. Too soon. Uh, let me see what they got. I'll check in with y'all in a little bit. Oh, that is really crazy. That shit is sold out everywhere. Everywhere. Like, I'm like, I'm lucky it's just me because. But even then, the only seats, they would have like one seat at the very end of the front of the movie screen. Who's sitting there? Who's sitting there? Ain't no, I'm sorry. Ain't no movie that good for somebody to be sitting there. No. Um, so I just kept looking, kept looking at the, like, um, different movie times and I found one for 3.30, um, at this movie theater that I've been to a couple times. It's a good movie theater. Um, it's cross town. So I booked that for later today. I'll be going at 3.30. So I do have time to sit and edit and start, um, getting my posting schedule back to normal. Um. Yeah, I just feel like I've been gone for so long. Uh, even though I just posted one two weeks ago, I'm like, girl, you shouldn't be gone two weeks. Like, I was on an every week schedule. But we'll get back at it. But, yeah, I'm just going to chill. And I'm about to start editing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to wear to the movie. I don't know. But we'll figure something out. I'm going to talk to y'all a little later. So I am ready to go for the movie. I um, just went over my hair with a straightener and I put on my little chunky gold hoops. Feeling cute, feeling cute. I got on my rings and um, y'all, I think I left my pendant necklace that um, I got from Amazon in New York. So I'm actually kind of sad if I can't find that. But I ended up wearing this white top. Y'all seen it before, but I just tied it up this time. And um, cargo pants, y'all have seen it before too. Uh, just kind of spiced it up a little bit and then you already know my new favorite shades, but yeah, let's go to the movie and I've done a little TikTok. I'm just, I'm on a roll. I'm, I'm trying to get back on my stuff again. So let's go. I'm so excited. I haven't took myself on a solo date in a little while. So, oh, you know, this place is packed because I've never had to park this far. Like I parked far as I don't know what from, my thing just came out, from the, um, theater like this parking lot is packed but we're about to go in i literally made it here at 3 30 and the movie starts now but you know previews so i got time to get some popcorn and stuff so let's see how this movie goes just left the barbie movie y'all it was so cute it was like a whole little event because um like, a lot of women were dressed in pink. The little girls were dressed in pink. Men were dressed in pink. Um, it was a lot of, like, solo. Um, it was a lot of, like, women going on solo dates. Like, it was so freaking cute. Just pink theme, everything. Like, the movie was packed. I haven't seen it that packed in a while. Oh, I have three minutes of storage left. Okay. Um, but, yeah, it was a really cute. The movie, I think it was more so for, like, the adults that grew up with Barbie than, like, the current kids now. Um... Yeah, they had like a little, a lot of little jokes in there and everything. But it also had like a cute message as well. So I think everyone should go see it. If Don't remember where I left off in the car, or if I even said that much. But the movie was so cute. Um, I think I was saying like everyone was dressed up. It felt like a big event. Like the women were dressed in pink. The kids were dressed in pink. Men were in like light pink t-shirts. Like it was really cute. Like the movie was packed. Um, I'm just spraying on some perfume because I realized I left the house without um spraying anything like a crazy person but i need to charge my phone for a little bit and i'm about to be on the way to my mom's for the night so i'm gonna talk to y'all later hey y'all it is later later on um, the next day it's like almost two o'clock i didn't get out of bed till like 11 basically like i wanted to soak in all the sleep i could because tomorrow is a new week a full week uh uh I will say it really hasn't felt like a weekend to me because I was gone Monday through Wednesday and I didn't go back to work till Thursday. So like I worked Thursday and Friday and I'm like, wait, 
this don't feel like the weekend like so this is gonna be a full week so i'm just like trying to get my rest get things together and yeah but me and kai are supposed to be going out tonight i'm about to like wash clothes and stuff y'all i didn't even wear those two outfits in new york because like what time what time did i end up having my priority the last couple days was like getting the bed set up in there in the room washing clothes and stuff so that's ready for later and then i'm gonna make me some lunch i don't know what i'm gonna make though but yeah we're gonna figure it out but i'm about to start washing my clothes and then i will check in with y'all a little later hopefully you're having a great sunday i hope you enjoyed the vlog that just went up it was 40 minutes so i'm proud of myself um but yeah hope y'all enjoyed it and hope you're enjoying this one so far as well it's a little bit later we're about to be on the way to my cousin's house she's doing her first cookout that's just the clothes don't mind those she's doing her first cookout um really i'm just literally just stopping by for like an hour because i told y'all we have plans and these are kind of like last minute but i literally just washed um and put back on my little active set i saw y'all saw me get in new york with the shorts i don't even think y'all saw me get it but you saw me wear it on the way back home um so i'm just chilling so just in case they do go to the pool i can just put on i just put my legs in the water because i got on my shorts but yeah the hair is in a clip for now and i am breaking out like right here but i already know it's because i was traveling and eating and whatnot so it'll go away. i'll put a little mask on that later but yep i will see y'all in a little bit <laughs> 